So today I'm going to be making a apple and taleggio risotto. It's going to be just like the basic risotto which Mick made. Click on the link to have a look at that. But we're going to add a few more ingredients to make it extra special. So I'm going to start by frying my onion in a bit of olive oil, the same as our basic risotto. It's at this point while your onions are sweating that you want to add your chopped apples if Mick gets up. Oh, they're ready. <laughs> I've speeded the <laughs> apple cutting up. And the reason you're adding them at this point is because you want the juices to be released and for them to cook and almost sweat with the onion. Mm -hmm. When they've softened and sweated a little bit, you add your rice. At this stage, you want to add your wine. Why? Because it's dry. Yep, it's starting to get dry and you've coated all the rice in those lovely juices. Thank you for the sound effects there, Michaela. So this has been going for one to two minutes. Now I can add my stock. don't want it to turn into like a soup so you need to keep an eye on as it's absorbing you add a bit more Oops, stop more please quick so I've added about half the stock at this stage I'm going to start adding a bit of the seasoning so I'm going to take about half of the cheese and add it when you add your seasoning you want to add half of your parmigiano too and I'm also going to put some salt and pepper in here to season it. Mm. The risotto is getting ready. So now I'm going to add the rest of my taleggio, the rest of the parmigiano, and grate the rest of that apple in there. So I'm just coring the apples for Emmy. So I'm chopping them into quarters and taking out the, the seeds. Um, but leaving the skin on so that she can grate the skin into the risotto and it keeps the colour. The rice is now cooked, so I'm going to add the rest of the taleggio, the parmigiano and the grated apple. So that is it, your apple and taleggio risotto.